So my name's Catherine Head. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Oxford in the UK. It's really simple, we just collect water and then we're able to filter it when we get back and all the DNA gets collected on a filter paper and we can take that back to the lab and do genetic sequencing to actually see exactly what's there in the water column. To me, seeing the genetic sequence on a computer screen when I, after I've done my sequencing is, is, is mind-blowing because it's something that is microscopic and you can't see it with your eyes. In the case of DNA, eDNA sampling in the water column, we can tell you if an endangered species is out there just from one water sample compared to sitting there for hours on end waiting and watching, say, for a whale to come past. Yeah, the downside with doing genetics is that you have to wait some time for the results which can be really frustrating because obviously you know that this is going to tell a good story but you just don't know what that story is going to be for a few months. And when we've got that refined and we get good sequences then we get really excited and we do a little dance. Okay, I guess the best way of getting across the information that the DNA gives us is through graphs and presentations of those results and putting pictures next to those graphs and actually illustrating what you're finding. So to me it's, it's every bit as, as amazing as seeing those organisms, um, you know, up close. The findings from the Necton mission in collaboration with Project Baseline will be released as part of the XL Catlin Deep Ocean Survey.